Kitty, meet Kitty. You slept in the bed all night with us. All up and close. He slept right by me. Right next to me the whole night. I think you've really missed us, haven't you? You've been too scared to come home. I'm so sorry. Look at the bum thing. Bum up in the air. Classic Zeus. Oh. He's like a spider monkey. I always thought this. Look, spider monkey. Good morning all. Um, it was a very successful, lovely night sharing the bed with good old cutie Zeus. But it's so lovely having Zeus. It feels like we've got our own pet. And he's just the most wonderful cat. He chats to you and he talks to you and he meows all the time and he's just the best. He's like a little spider monkey, a little Felix spider monkey. <laughs> Yeah, I make myself some, every morning's the same, I have a little chat by the window and then I come over here and make myself some breakfast. What is it today? Hmm, let me guess, a banana smoothie? I think so. In here we have eight bananas and a 500 gram packet of frozen strawberries topped up with water. Let's do this. You have to try out this combination because it tastes like a lollipop. I just took some selfies for my Instagram. Um, my, I think, no, my friend um, said to me when we were on holiday in Budapest, she was like, you're not really a selfie person, are you? Because I think I was laughing at her and for taking a selfie or something, or I don't know, because she takes lots of selfies. And I was kind of giggling at the fact that she was, or something like that. And um, I just took a few then. And the reason I did it, because like on Instagram, when, I, when the people I follow, I like to, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I like to ah! oh he just put some frozen mango on my bare leg um, I like to like see what they look like because I follow some purely food um, Instagrams but I like the ones where you have like half food and half photos of them because you get to sort of know their personality and see what they're doing and stuff and it's more relatable and um, so that's why I am taking selfies, even though it's not natural to me, I feel a bit like awkward. And the fact that you get the process of having to take like quite a few pictures all in one go and then sort of check which one's good and sort of smile like, ah. it's just a bit, I don't know, a bit awkward. Easy when you go traveling because you can get cool photos. Like I got some really nice ones in Budapest of, with all the sites and stuff. And I loved, I really love photos like that rather than posed selfies. But what you gonna do? Yeah, it's good because I want to obviously grow my channel and grow my Instagram and stuff because I predominantly I just want to like show people how easy veganism is because that's the comment I get all the time. It must be so hard, must be so hard. I just want to, I want more and more people to understand how easy it is and how it's the way forward. It's what people should be doing now and it's what, um, it's what's so good for everything. It's so good for your health. It's changed my life. So yeah, I just want to attract more people and I think selfies kind of, you it's nice to see someone's face, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there I go again, ranting and talking about nonsense. Just got home and showered, and Alex is cooking up a storm. Look at this feast. What is it, Alex? Curry. <laughs> what kind of curry? It's a really exciting potato and chickpea curry that we never make. Well, it's pretty damn good, so. Oh, masala. It's a bit different. Is it, nice is it from that book or did you sort of make it up? It's from the book that I replaced, they wanted a lot of chickpeas so I replaced some chickpeas with potato. Okay, so it's from this book here, if anyone likes Indian cooking, um, this book's great, it's called Vegan Rich's Indian Kitchen, my sister got it for me. Was it for my birthday? Yeah. For me. Oh, for you, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, my sister got Alex it for his birthday. Um, so he's, Alex is doing this one, the chickpea curry, and there's like, Sides and vegetable curries, potato fritters, savoury oat hash, almond ice cream, flatbreads, tempeh and cauliflower, chickpea tofu and spicy madras, tempeh tikka masala. So there's loads of amazing recipes. They're just sort of taking traditional Indian foods and um, they're all they're all vegan. Maybe because I've not really put much in the vlog today, I'll show you our cookery books. So you can, um, if you're like after some new books or um, recipes or anything, here's a little inspo. So I'll pick out the best ones. This is our little cookery collection. This one is really good. This is where that we get our 
main lentil dal recipe that we cook all the time called Izzy Vegetarian One Pot. So delicious fuss free recipes for hearty meals and there's just so many recipes in here. A lot, Obviously a lot of them aren't vegan but you can veganize them um, and sort of pick out which ones which ones you want. There's lots of like this one I want to try, chickpea masala. There's just so many different recipes in here and they're so so simple so they're all like very short stages and a very small list of ingredients. That's great for someone who either is busy or <clears throat> or doesn't have much cooking experience. This one is more of a like um, expert book and it's really good. Vegan street food. Um, so this is Foodie Travels from India to Indonesia and um, this book is so beautiful um, and it's got loads of really really unusual recipes that I've never really heard of. We actually tried this one, Pad Thai. Um, but it's got loads of really different recipes in here um, from all around. This is something I haven't really dug into a whole lot, but this is awesome. It's called the Homemade Vegan Pantry, The Art of Making Your Own Staples. I thought I'd put it down so I can show you better, but it basically goes through all the staples like granola, um, polenta, mac and cheese, um, marinara, burgers, meatballs, um, breakfast unsausages, uh, tempeh, tofu, chowder, mushroom soups, feta cheese, egg white, sour cream, yogurt, butter. So it's basically everything that you could ever think of. Um, it tells you how to make it. And they've also got quite a few oil free recipes in here, which I thought was really cool. Next are two books from Anya Carlin. Um, I met her a few like last year, I think it was, because um, she's from Penzance and she's so lovely. And um, I think that she actually watched one of my vlogs the other day because she commented on Instagram saying that she enjoyed my vlogs. And she also does um, have a YouTube channel and she does what I eat in a days and things. So I'll link her in the description. Um, and she's got an amazing blog and she's got these two books. Um, my sister got this for me right when I started um, when I first went vegan and then she's recently um, released this book and they're both so good. This one is like full of all the sort of recipes that you would have had before being vegan, just made vegan um, and they're really easy and just it's amazing. And this one's a bit more experimental and like um, lots of really, really inventive, amazing, oh, let me try that this one here, let me get it over here. We tried this one, Jollof rice. It was so delicious. Um, and have the photography in here is so nice. Um, so back bean taquitos, then chilada sauce, cauliflower couscous. There's just like loads of really amazing, flavorful recipes. Yeah, that's the cool thing. It has, um, at the end of it, it has um, some like beauty stuff in here, which like I thought was so cool, like vegan beauty. So she's, um, done a whole like chapter on face masks and things you can sort of make yourself. So facial mist, so it's all natural and um, uh, vegan and it's amazing. I think what a cool idea, I've never really seen that before. So, and also she's got a little bit on a vegan wardrobe, look how cute she is, we've got the same haircut. This is an amazing book, I highly recommend these ones of hers. Next we've got the two Deliciously Ella books. Everyone's heard of her, she's awesome. Um, she has this one, which is her newest one, and then um, her first one, just Deliciously Ella. Like, there's so many really, really cool, very Instagrammable recipes in here. Lots of salads, lots of really hearty, very healthy meals, delicious. This one, I love this one, I've made this so many times. Hazelnut spread, yeah, that one's also great. Butternut squash risotto. And then her new book um, is also great. Um, I haven't tried as many from here, obviously, because it's new. We tried that uh, paella. It was really good. Mashed potato bowl. This um, is Hugh Fernley, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall's Veg Everyday River Cottage book. Um, this is great. Obviously not vegan, again, but it's got a lot of vegan recipes slash recipes that you can make vegan. This has a really great chili con carne in here and loads of great soups and just 
very like chef-like meals, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's that, they're the highlights of all these. So if you're out looking for some new recipe books to get started with veganism or to try out some vegan recipes, then I highly recommend these. Alex just informed me that he's gone all out and tried to make himself a little chutney. You're so inventive. I would never have thought to do that. I'm excited. Did you like find a recipe online or just like make it up? A bit of both. This looks good. Alex is quite the curry pro. You go all out, you love cooking curries, don't you? Oh. We've just finished dinner, I had two portions, it was amazing. I realised I didn't tell you, I didn't film my lunch or tell you what I had for lunch. I had leftover chilli and a jacket potato, like a massive one, like the size of my hand. And um, also I had a bowl of cereal. But um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. So yeah, good night, bye. Alex says goodbye too. He's not in here, but he says goodbye. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Like the video, subscribe, and yeah. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> bye. Okay, so something absolutely incredible just happened. Um, my family's cat, um, Zeus, well our cat, Zeus, has been missing. He's been missing.